Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Electronic Harassment Parent Coalition of Palm Springs, California. Happy 50,000 hits, um, no matter what Lisa says. Uh, I just want everybody to know that um, I'm really, really happy. The hits have been coming big time. God, oh, gosh, this hat is just not right or something. Anyways, um, I just want to let everybody know that it has been very difficult lately dealing with Lisa. She is uh, crazy, basically. And uh, I just wanted to let everybody know that um, today's blog posts are about how I'm no angel, uh, but I've learned how to keep myself from being myself, which is uh, you know, I'm a very social person, and I make friends very easily, and one thing that is really, really hard for me um, is to keep myself from being that kind of person, and I don't really spend a lot of time with my friends. I try to spend as much time as I can with my family, but when you have this girl constantly listening for some little insight or bit of information, bit of information that she can use... Um, when she hears your parents talk to you about anything personal or any of their friends or anything that, you know, is going on with anybody else, this girl likes to turn it around and make it sound like I said something about it, even though she's overheard it, and tries to make me look like somebody that is spreading rumors or something, and I'm not. And I just want to make sure everybody understands that, you know, part of what <laughs> this is all about is making sure that you understand who I am and making sure that you know that I don't lie and I don't have any reason to work this hard on a project that has no validity. I mean, I don't get paid for this. I never ask for money from anybody. I uh, work a job at night um, and I spend most of the time at my house trying to stay out of trouble. And that's who I am. Um, it's very difficult for a person like me to stop being friendly, um, even though that's what Lisa would like. But I don't choose to be that way. Um, I have to. It's just when it gets to the point where she wants to know the names of the convenience store clerks so that she can call them to see if they'll start a problem with me, that's too far. And I'm sorry if she's so bored while she's awake all the time that she has to find somebody to have a confrontation with me. And I'm not going to have that confrontation. The confrontation I'm going to have with her is going to be in a courtroom where the playing field is even, where the ambush doesn't happen, and where the evidence is seen for what it is. Um, I just want everybody to understand that today's post is about, you know, I had to make a lot of sacrifices, more than, more than a lot of people would make, just so that I could get a hold of this situation so I could present it to you now. And if you think that what I go through um, is difficult, you should see what some of my other team members have to go through too, and it's not easy. Um, and we're not looking for your sympathy. We're looking for your support, and we need you to understand that this is not something that we would normally have taken on. It took us on. Um, Lisa likes to pretend that she's the victim, but what she continues to forget is she's the one that started it. And when you look at the privacy issues and the things that she has said about all of my friends, and the people that she has brought into this situation trying to make herself look like an angel and make the rest of us look like we're bad people, it's ridiculous. Um, I personally would never have had anything to do with this person. Never. I just wouldn't. <laughs> you know, if you don't really like somebody, you don't really try to be around them. And in my opinion, things like restraining orders have been used almost like a way of isolating me.